So, I don't know if any of you are up this early, but it's about 6 a.m. here, and we're halfway to the Niagara Falls. I'm excited! Hold up. Do you hear that? Is that an owl? In the city, I've never even heard an owl or even seen one. I've never even slept in a sleeping bag before outside. Guys, you know me by now, right? Well, I think you do. One thing I can't stand is when someone, namely my little brother, takes my snacks, eats them, doesn't tell me, acts like it never happened. What am I supposed to eat in here now? I'm just about finished all my snacks. Oh, oh. Is anyone hungry? I don't even know where we can get food out here. Nope, no way I'm going for food out here. I'm so hungry! Do you have a friend that you can call every single time and they'll answer? Well, that's my buddy Chip! Callie? Hey Chip! I know it's extremely early, but hey! I thought I'd just call ya! What you up to? Sleeping? What's up? Chip, I know you have a new sister, right? And like tons of other brothers and sisters, have they ever done anything to you that got you so mad? All the time. Just last night, they broke my toy. I was so angry. And they eat all your food and break your toys. I think my road trip would be so much better without this little guy munching off my food. It's that bad? Yes, Chip. He takes my toys, takes my snacks. I know you love your snacks, especially... Teddy Cramp Cookies. Yep, but I have a story I want to share with you. It's time for our Bible story. Last week, we learned the third and the fourth commandments that God gave Moses for the people of Israel. So far, commandments one through four have all been about how we can love God better. But God gave us rules for how we can love others better, too. I'm excited. The fifth commandment is to honor your father and your mother. Is that like listening to them? That's part of it, yes. When we honor our parents, we listen to them because we trust that they know what's best for us. It's our way to show we love them for loving us so much. Actually, they do love us a lot. They sure do. And they want to make sure we don't get hurt. The sixth commandment says that we should not do anything to harm someone else. Even if they're really mean? Even if they're really mean. God is not happy when humans hurt each other. That's why God gave us the sixth commandment. That's commandment number seven. The seventh commandment says that people who are married to each other should keep their promises to each other. That's a nice rule. It really is. So when we honor our parents, don't hurt others, and keep our promises to each other, we show our love to God. How? Because God loves all of us. So when we love each other, we are in fact loving God. Everyone in my family? Even my brother? Even your brother. So I didn't tell you how the story ended. My brother broke my toy and I got mad. But of course. He said he was sorry and it was a mistake. I could tell he was really sorry. So I told him it's okay. It's just a toy. But get this. My mom was so proud of me for being a big brother. She promised to replace my broken toy with a new one. Wow. That's so awesome! Well, maybe I can be a good big sister too. Maybe my brother was really hungry. Good point, Chip. Thank you for reminding me that we obey God by loving our families. Do you mind if I go back to sleep? Oh, of course, buddy. Thanks for chatting with me, even when it's like 6 in the morning. See ya! So friends, I have some making up to do with my little bro. It's really early and I think I'll get a couple more hours of sleep before everyone gets up. Maybe we will get something amazing for breakfast. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so glad I got to talk to Chip this morning. It helped me remember that loving my family is what God wants me to do. What are some ways you show your families you love them? Drop a comment and I'll get back to you.